morning, it's me, Brenda. Devotions from the Homestead. And I'm here to share um, one of my devotionals. And it's one of my favorite kind of things. Um, I love prayer. I love interceding. I'm an intercessor, so I love praying for people. And I love to be asked to pray. I love to pray for anybody. I pray for you. So we're going to talk about supplication and what does supplication mean. So what does it mean? So as a Christian, do we supplicate? Yes, we do. Um, and then why is supplication important? It It is God's power in our lives, and we like that. So let's look at technical term, dictionary-wise. Supplication, the action of asking or begging for something, earnestly or humbly. It also means prayer, exhortation, and request. So what am I saying? Is supplication is a prayer, but much more. It's kneeling down, bending down humbly, petitioning, asking urgently. So, supplication is praise, petition, intercession, thanksgiving. I like how the Lord formulates himself into um, the word of God and how he allows us to have this word that we can read it and be filled to overflowing. So why is supplication important? Because like Daniel, if someone tells us we can't pray or love Jesus, that's exactly what we do. We pray to God with prayer of thanksgiving as well as prayer of supplication, right? For God's help in our dire situations. Jesus tells us to ask for our daily bread in Matthew 6.11. Let's look that up. Is this supplication? Yeah. Hang on. Matthew 6.11. Matthew 6.11. No, Matthew. Matthew 6.11. Okay. It says, Give us today our daily bread. I knew that. Gosh. Okay, let's look up Luke. Luke 18, 1 through 8. The parable. Okay, then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because his widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones? who cry out to him day and night, will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? So, tells us to pray and not give up, right? So, she should just be praying and praying. James 4, 2. James 4, 2. According to BibleRef.com, James Let me chapter... click that. It says, you desire, but, not, but do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask. We don't receive because we don't ask. Just know, though... We don't receive because we are thinking only for our fleshy desires. I'm not talking about that kind of asking. Supplication is humble. 
So it always should end with, Your will be done, Father, in heaven. Let's look. Matthew twenty six thirty nine. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it be possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. He was talking about the pain and suffering, right? So in Ephesians 6, 18. Let's look that up. Ephesians 6, 18. According to BibleRef.com, Ephesians... And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray in the Spirit, all occasion, all kinds of prayers. So this is very powerful. Philippians 4, 6-7. through 7. So It's very powerful. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Thank Him. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Here is a crucial aspect of the prayer of supplication, the necessity of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We belong to Christ. We have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit who intercedes on our behalf. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because we don't always know what to pray for, right? We don't always know what to pray for. Romans 8.26 says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Thank you, Lord. Oh, how we love the Lord, right? Oh, how I love you, Lord. Thank you that you gave us such a beautiful way to speak to you and be spoken to. Your love, O oh Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the skies, right? Let's read Ephesians. No, let's read Psalms. Psalms. 36, 6 through 12, ESV Bible. Okay. 6 through 12. Okay. Psalms 36, 6 through 12. It says, Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them a drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie, fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. Amen. Hallelujah, right? Glory be to God, most high. That's my grandson. He's probably getting diaper changed. You don't like it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So today... Formulate a beautiful supplicating prayers. Formulate beautiful supplicating prayers before the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just pray, Lord Jesus, for my prayers, that all would hear the word of God, as they should, that they would be prayerful, desiring to Formulate prayers to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are a good God. 
I ask that you bless them today. Peace be upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day.